Hi, it's Dawn from Niche Money Crochet. Today I have for us to do some dish scrubbies or pot scrubbies, whatever you want to call them. These are a great thing to have on your craft table. You can sell them in sets or you can do them individually, however you want to uh, put them out on your craft table. I like to just put them in a basket and put a sign, you know, two for something or a certain dollar amount for an individual one and let people pick out what they want. So let me drop the camera down and we'll talk about the yarn, the hook, and anything else you might need to work on these dish scrubbies. I use two different kinds of yarn when making my scrubbies. I use Red Heart Scrubby Yarn and then I use a cotton yarn, in this case uh, like Lily Sugar and Cream. Now it doesn't matter what color scrubby yarn and what color cotton yarn that you use, you can mix and match and by and I'll show you what I mean by bringing in my examples that I had in the beginning. Like these three right here were all done using the same color scrubby yarn but different color cotton yarns combined with them so that you get a different look or color combination with each of them but yet you're using the same color scrubby yarn and then you can use one that matches it and get this type of a look or something that had only this was a multicolor scrubby yarn and then I used just the green which was one of the colors that was in it so you get a look something like this one very similar to what I did with the pink one then I have one where I used a completely different color that had nothing to do with anything that was the color of the scrubby yarn and you got a different dramatic look as well. So you can combine different color cotton yarns with the scrubby yarn and you can get a completely different look or you can just use whatever kind of scrap uh, cotton yarn that you have and combine it with the scrubby yarn and it's a good way to use up your uh, leftover cotton yarn as well. So one ball of the scrubby yarn, which comes in a three ounce ball, 85 grams, 75 yards, and this is 100% polyester, will should make you about six of these scrubbies. And you'll combine it with one three, I believe this is a two and a half ounce ball of Lily Sugar and Cream. So you'll need one ball each to make about six scrubbies. The Get this so you have them all on the camera. The hook size I used is a J 6.0 millimeter hook. I'm going to be using my Clover Amore hook today. You will need a yarn needle to even your ends and a pair of scissors. Now if you have trouble um, finding your, your stitches, you might want to have some stitch markers. That is completely up to you. I don't use the stitch markers when I'm making uh, scrubbies, but if you need them, you should have some on hand just in case. So once you have all your supplies, let's get started. Before I jump into today's tutorial, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's that little icon down in the corner with my picture on it that will automatically subscribe you to my channel. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos when I upload them, don't forget to ring that bell. That will notify you when I upload new content. And if you like this video, this tutorial, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on it. That lets YouTube know that you like my videos. So while we're working this scrubby today, we're going to be taking a string of our a strand of our scrubby yarn and a strand of our cotton yarn and we're going to be holding both of them together. So we're going to work with two strands at the same time. We're going to go ahead and form a slip knot with both strands and put that on our hook. Now we don't want to make that slip knot too tight because we're going to have to work into that chain. So go ahead and do a chain of four. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to slip stitch to that first chain that we made. Now you could try a magic ring but being with the scrubby yarn it's kind of difficult to work a magic ring. So working that chain of four to form a ring works a little bit better for this project but if you want to try a magic ring you can go ahead and try that as well. So we're going to chain up three, one, two, three, 
that's going to count as our first double crochet. The cotton yarn helps us see our stitches a little bit better. With just using the scrubby yarn, it's kind of difficult to see our stitches. Plus the cotton yarn helps give our scrubby a little bit more thickness and a little bit more body to the scrubby. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put 11 double crochets into that ring. So here's our first one. So that's one. And watch that tail because that tail is going to flop all over the place. If you can trap it down in there with your double crochets, go ahead and do that. So that's two. Three. That tail keeps getting in the way. Four. And you can try to slide them over. It's a little bit hard with the scrubby yarn to do that, but we'll just squeeze them all in. One, two, three, four, five. And this is the last one, and this is 11. Okay, now our, since our first chain three counts as a stitch, that should be 12 stitches now. We're going to take that tail and just pull it to close the center hole a little bit and you go ahead and count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 and that is where our the top of our chain is and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch right into that just like that. To start round two chain up three one two three and we're going to put a double crochet right back into that same stitch. Just like that. And two double crochets into each stitch around. Now you might have to just futz with it a little bit to get into that stitch. So that's one. And two. Just put a little more yarn out here. We're going to continue working two double crochets into each stitch around. Make sure you're grabbing both yarn when you're working your double crochets, the scrubby yarn and the cotton yarn. So again, keep working those two double crochets in each stitch and I'll meet back up with you at the end of this round. At the end of round two, we now have 24 double crochet we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three right here. So just go ahead and stick your hook in there. If you can get under both the loops, that's great, but if you can't, that's good. It's fine too. Just go ahead and slip stitch to it. If you have 23 double crochet, if you have 25 double crochet, that's okay. Remember, we're making a dish scrubby. It's okay. These are difficult stitches to see, so if you've missed one or you added one extra, it's okay. So to start round three, we're going to chain up three again. One, two, three. We're going to go to the next stitch, which is right here, and put two double crochets. So one, two. The next stitch we're going to put one double crochet. The next one, two double crochets. One. Two. 
and that's going to be the repeat all the way around. One double crochet, two double crochets. One double crochet, two double crochet. One, two, one, two. So please repeat that all the way around and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. We're at the end of round three. We now have 36 double crochet and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So it's one, two, three, the beginning chain three. And you can go ahead and fasten off, leaving just a little bit of a tail so that you can weave it in. So there is our scrubby. We just get our yarn needle and I like to make sure that we weave in the bot the middle first. So we're just gonna weave it in under the center here, just a few stitches so this doesn't pop out. Just like that. Snip it off. And then grab these tails here. And just bring it down. And it can be a little difficult to pull it through in the, with the scrubby yarn. but it also is very forgiving as well because it hides everything. And just snip those off and you're all set. And there is your pot scrubby. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.